This is the song. Singer Sellers 2010 Cabernet Sauvignon Napa Valley. Uh, this is a wine uh, that I discovered out in California. Um, it's a <laughs> it's a boutique wine to say the least. Very tiny production. Um, Barry Singer, uh, a man who um, started out in other another career and decided that uh, winemaking was something that he just couldn't uh, stay away from. <laughs> and so he started Singer Cellars, and he's producing tiny amounts of really, really nice wines from Napa Valley. I mean, he's, uh, you know, why not go <laughs> where the best is, right? So he's sourcing these grapes from um, terrific vineyards. This is all sourced from a single vineyard, the Browning Vineyard in Oak Knoll. And um, it's hands-on all the way. I mean, he's there. So the grapes are coming in. He's selecting them. He's, he's uh, sorting them, uh, crushing them, putting them all in, putting it in the fermenters, uh, you know, basically <laughs> walking through the whole process to make, you know, some 80 cases of wine. Um, he has a, a, a unique approach on this. Um, when he's got the wine in barrels, uh, which he does for 20 months, he's aging in, in oak barrels and he's using top-of-the-line Terran Sode French oak barrels. But for the first nine months, he actually stirs the lees every two weeks, just like you might for a, a barrel fermented Chardonnay. And so what that does is uh, sort of, you know, enriches the mouthfeel of the wine. And at the same time, he's also topping it up so that the wine doesn't really have any chance to be become oxidized, because that's what happens when it sits in the barrels. A little bit of it oxidize, a little bit of evaporates, and you get a uh, surface area that can oxidize. So he's topping that up every two weeks, stirring the leaves, um, really giving this wine uh, <laughs> careful, <laughs> delicate, kid glove care. So um, finally, when he bottles it, he just he racks it three times and then bottles it unfined and unfiltered. So uh, he's a real purist. And uh, yeah, so. The nose is, is uh, berries, um, spicy cedar, a little hint of, uh, of menthol. Dark chocolate. Uh, some minerality in there also. Really nice, complex nose. Let's try it. You know, there seems to be a real, um, like, real focus to this wine. Um, nice backbone, good structure. There's, there's a, some nice tannins framing this fruit. And the fruit is all um, black cherry, black plums, and those uh, mineral notes and those spicy notes. A little bit of that, um, uh, that menthol coming through. But um, all very streamlined, all very focused. Um, you know, to me, this is a wine that you'd put in your cellar. You'd see some really nice development on it probably over the next uh, five to seven years, maybe. Um, but clearly, it's a very tightly um, put together, really nice core. Really superb. Happy cab. Happy drinking. <laughs>